All right, this is video on how to install Zerdy and Wikimedia Impossible. All you gotta do really is go to download Fabric to start with. There you go, Fabric, done that. There, I've already installed one. So basically, you click that, so you just come up. Okay, ready to install, press install, boom. Pretty much done there. And then the next couple of steps is pretty much just install results pack. So you just on the same website you can go click here. And then you can just go files. And you can go download the latest build and then you file. You can then just wait here. Now, and then I'm going to down search up download Sodium Minecraft just to make sure that it's actually Minecraft because it could just be some random map. You go files, main file, download. Wait five seconds. Download and then I can just go download everything. Make sure you get the fabric version. Download the main file. Now another thing you can do is just press the click here and a bit. And then you can search up download phosphor. Fabric version, go to the fabric links, files, and then the main file should probably be the one. So just go download. And then you can go click here. Alright, cool. We have pretty much all the mods downloaded. Now we've got to install them. So I can go. Alright, so you'll be seeing this kind of stuff here. Now what you can do, you can go Windows R, and then you're going to type percent sign at data, percent sign, and press OK. Then you're going to go dot Minecraft, mods, and basically it's just pretty much drag and drop. So I'm just going to set it up here. Just take these mods over here, fabric API over there, boom. You have now officially installed Fabric. Now all you've got to do is go to the Minecraft Launcher. Now I've already got this here. You can see. Right. Uh, fabric Loader 116.1. Press play. Alright. There you go. That is having sodium, lithium, and phosphor all installed. It's all installed, you can see here. but can't really see that they're all installed, but that's a good start. Now, we actually also need to get the Optifine features, I suppose, that Fabric has to offer. Now, what you can do is you can just like go download Sodium again in Minecraft, yeah. You go first, you go to the website. You can scroll down all the way here, down to common questions, and then go all the way down to is Sodium a replacement for Optifine. If you also come down here, check out this list for some fabric based alternatives, you can go to this list. Basically, this has some fabric based alternatives. Um, the one that you'd probably be interested in is. Lamp dynamic lights, which is dynamic lights. Uh, soaring clouds, controllable cloud height, just like in Optifine. Um, there are some others, like no fog. That's another one. You also can go down into the lamp dynamic lights and go mod menu. They need mod menu with sodium. Like, if you're using sodium, you need mod menu with dynamic lights to make dynamic lights work.
You go search download Ash Fabric Mods. And then we'll come up here, another simple HUD. Here's another one. This is specifically for like displaying your FPS and also you can display your location and which direction you're facing just in the top corner so you don't have to use that F3 screen. Now Optifine user, um, enables this the FPS one but it doesn't enable the location and the, the uh, direction you're facing. So this is probably even better than um, Optifine's offerings. You can go down to zoom on the recommended all up to find alternative. Go logical zoom. There is another one. This is also pretty cool. And that's a ba basically about all the mods you can possibly need to pretty much replace everything about all the find that's quite appealing apart from shaders probably the only thing. Now I just thought I installed all those mods that I've just showed you. And um yeah we can just now press play. Now one mod that I have installed is called Fast Furnace and this basically gives some extra performance with uh furnaces but you don't really need it, I don't know. You can pretty much just search up um, Fast Furnace. Alright, now you can see everything come up. Now, if you want to like change your settings with um, everything I suppose. This is the sodium settings menu. And if you want to change to the vanilla for some reason, you can go Shift P and we'll just come up. Here you can control the overworld cloud height due to that the mod um, soaring clouds. Also down here you can go land dynamic light settings and also change this into fancy or something like that just to get you um, the dynamic lights that Optifine gives you. You can go into mods and you can go ash another simple HUD. You can go show HUDs maybe, save and quit, and then you know, it's done. Uh, you can also go options, controls, just the same thing for Optifine with um, the toggle zoom. Yes, you can just press Z. Or, so that's what I like. Or you can do Z. Well, I like Z. Uh, and that's basically that. You have installed pretty much everything that you need to replace Optifine actually. Now that I think about it, it's kinda cool. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here, I suppose. See you, I guess.